Hey, good morning, Facebook friends. I should say good Monday morning. It's Carolyn Rodriguez coming to you with our, tick well, I should say with my typical magical Monday moments. And today, I want to share something that's close to my heart. So let's see who's joining us this morning. Welcome, welcome. I just see somebody jumping on. Hey, Cindy, you came, you remember, 12 o'clock Monday, right? I'm here. There's my mom. I don't know if she scheduled this into her calendar. Nice to see you, Yvonne. My mom is up to speed on all this Facebook stuff, you guys. Yeah, I can't believe that she's going to be 88 this year. Looking fine, mom. Hey, Brenda, nice to see you. Hi, guys. I'm just going to do a little wave and just wait a couple minutes. How's everybody doing this Monday morning? I know it was a rainy weekend for a lot of people, so I hope you got some inside stuff done. I was pretty productive on Saturday and uh, went to a pool party. And, oh, my goodness, thankfully, because of my mother-in-law's prayers all of a sudden the sun came out so we had a lovely uh, Saturday afternoon and some fun on Sunday with friends on our new deck so that's my weekend in a nutshell and I'm really looking forward to a um, a wonderful week this week preparing for lots of fun things as you know our kids go back to school and some people are celebrating hey Greg nice to see you here some people are celebrating that their kids are going back to school and we're going back to our normal routine of life so let's uh, just waiting for a couple of people to come on Steve nice to hear you I never I've never seen you on my Facebook Live before, but welcome, welcome. If you're just joining me, Carolyn Rodriguez tuning in from beautiful Collingwood, Ontario, and it is Magical Mondays. So guys, let's just get started today because I want to jump into a subject that some people may be going, ooh, Carolyn, really? Are you talking about that? Yes. So many of you know that I am a, what I call, brand ambassador for a network marketing company. And guys, I'm looking at this, I'm coming up to my 15 year anniversary with my current company. December will make 15 years that I started and 21 years in this profession. I was with another company six years before that. So I'm like, wow, that's like a third of my life when I think about it. So I just gave away my age, right? And so um, I am just excited to talk about this profession. Hey Brenda, oh, let me just see who, who else is on here. Yeah, okay, so Brenda goes, good morning. Yeah, my mom's gonna be, yeah, she's 87 going strong. All right, so let's get back. I, I have all these squirrel moments when I see the stuff that you guys are, you know, typing in there. And I wanna chat with you, so chat away and I'll get back to you a little later on. So what do I wanna talk to you about today? I wanna talk to you about why network marketing is a fabulous profession. So first of all, what is it? I think it's a, it's a misunderstood profession based on an old paradigm from when network marketing sort of was first came into its being over 60 plus years ago. So what it is guys basically, my husband helped me understand it, that it's a model, a different model of moving products from a manufacturer to a consumer without the traditional middle man. My husband was involved with a consumer, a, a, a product a, that came from the manufacturer uh, to a distributor, to a retailer, and salespeople involved in the middle. So a lot of people had to get compensated. And network marketing is, I make this product and I get it right to the consumer. And what do I do? I compensate the ambassadors who decide to take on the product, use it for themselves, and talk about it, right? So, hey, Kim, nice to see you here, my dear. So, let me read you some network marketing stats. There's tons of them online. Go to the Direct Selling Association. We're part of a professional association, yes. So, over, and I, these are U.S. stats. I don't have Canadian stats. Over 20 million people are involved in network marketing. And those 20 people, this is 2015 stats, I'm a little bit behind the, yeah, okay. Um, of those 20 million people, those 20 million people generated uh, close to $36 billion in sales. Legitimate 
product sales. And 77% of those 20 million people are, you guessed it, women, right? What do we like to do? We like to talk, right? We like to ask our friends, where'd you get your haircut? Where'd you go to, you know, how did you get that? Where'd you get that dress? Wow, I love that purse. So through the power of speaking, using the product, getting an experience and speaking, you generate some sales and the companies, different companies out there, different plans, so you gotta do your homework. Um, it's, it's an opportunity for people, and I, I have a lot of moms in my business who want to generate $500 a month that will help give their families a little bit of elasticity. So it's a business where you can be in business right away, right? With most businesses, you may have to wait on lawyers, licenses, inspections, uh, you know, building inspections, painting, getting the, the, the place ready. With a network marketing business, you can start promoting your business and start making sales and start building a team right away after you join your company. So different companies have different ways of getting started. Um, ours is pretty simple and the the thing I love about it is that traditional businesses you have to have you know if you if you're um, uh, if you're a brick and mortar business you got to have some products you got to buy those products ahead of time whereas in network marketing there is no inventory so you see behind me there we go that's my inventory you guys and all of those products are all empty so it's products that I've consumed and I get to just show the empty products so there you go so your network marketing company handles the the typical um, the, the the typical trappings of a of a business of a traditional business so having you know paying rent uh, paying for lights, paying for heat, paying for all of those traditional, I mean, I've never had a traditional business, but hey, that's, you know, you guys, again, do your do your homework, right? In, in, in most network marketing companies, they handle those trappings of a traditional business. They can provide you with some marketing materials. You may you can purchase some sales tools. We have a lot of our products that are on video, free for anybody to use. Um, they, you know, I'm the brand ambassador, and when somebody decides to purchase a product from me through my online business, again, online business, so I don't pay any rent, so through my online business, the company will ship the product. They take care of getting the product to your customer. They take care of collecting the, the money for the product. And then I'm compensated for being that brand ambassador and that salesperson. Right, Casey? Casey, yeah. The amazing Casey James, my amazing project manager and graphic artist. She helps me so much in my business. So that's the extent of, you know, in terms of, uh, what money I put out for my business. So low startup costs in a network marketing business, right? So I have a, a bunch of friends that own some Tim Horton franchises. Oh, it's like, okay, it's, it, they, they, you know, there's a name there and they've developed that and they've developed a reputation, but now comes the high price tag for, for buying one of those franchises, right? So costs, typically when people are looking, an average person like myself may be looking for a business, we look at the franchising profession, right? And so costs can run you anywhere from 50,000 up to a million dollars. And the return on the return on that investment is sometimes, you don't see it for five, 10 years down the road, and some people don't see it at all. So, um, you know, with your network marketing profession, you know, your business, you are a professional, you can get started, different companies, different starting costs, you become a consumer, that's how I started, I wanna trial the products to see if they were in line with my values of what I stand for, and is this something that I could, you know, wake up and speak about, right? Does it resonate with me? So I joined as a customer to, tr to trial the product, and pretty soon people were coming to me because of the visible results and going, Carolyn, what are you doing? What are you doing? So think of it when you're looking at joining a network marketing company, it's not money that you're spending. Oftentimes you're using products that you consume or you're trying and they're of value to you and somehow. So for me, it was an investment in a business. I invested a few hundred dollars and the return today, well, I'll share that with you a little later on, right? Six, seven figure incomes, you guys. So when you consider the normal overhead costs for a traditional business, 
compared to a network marketing business, I'm going to say network marketing wins out hands down. Uh, the other part is, you know, for a lot of health professionals, a lot of chiropractors out there, they go to school, they incur a lot of debt, they uh, start their business, and guess what? I don't, I mean, I don't know this, but do they give you business training in your massage therapy courses? Do they give you business training in your chiropractic courses, in your nutritional counseling courses? So now you're a business person, you have to figure out how to make this business model run. So the, that's the one thing that I loved about uh, at the network marketing profession. Most companies will provide you with some you know, systems and trainings where with your elbow grease, you can get started and train yourself, right? And you can get more intense training because this is a gentleman that I recommend. He's a generic trainer to the network marketing profession, Eric Worre. This is kind of his Bible, his get started Bible. So you educate yourself, you guys. So it's a, a earn while you learn program. And you often have a mentor who's getting you started and you're working in that apprenticeship kind of environment. Who doesn't love that? You can earn some money as you're learning. Hey, Peggy Matler, nice to see you. Haven't seen you in ages, my friend. Okay, so, you know, I... I invest a portion of what I earn into personal development and growth because if I'm going to grow into a leader and a teacher and a trainer, then I got to learn first, right? So a lot of what I'm teaching now is things that I have learned on my way to becoming a leader and to being a person that somebody would want to follow. Okay, so let's talk about residual income, you guys, with no cap, no income ceiling. So I started as a part-timer while I had a full-time job, learning on the job, investing a few hours a week, and generating you know, income. You decide how much time do you want to put in and how much money do you want to earn. So, you know, in, in a traditional business, guys, I, you know, I have family members who have traditional businesses where you're the boss. And I've had traditional businesses where I was the boss and guess who got paid last? Moi. Right? I had to pay all the employees, I had to pay all the, you know, the trappings of the business and who works the longest hours? the owner, the boss, right? And so when you are the business owner and you take some time away in the early stages of your build, when you're not working, you don't get paid. So that's what I love about residual income, leverage income. And let me explain that, you guys, because there's so many um, misunderstandings about a pyramid scheme and all of that. Network marketing is totally legit. We have the Direct Sellers Association that polices a number of companies companies, right, that they have, and, and those companies who are members of the Direct Selling Association, you want to partner with those companies, right, because there's a lot of startups that have great ideas and that they don't have the foundation for that longevity and to meet the, the demand for some amazing products. So, so if you have a business that can't run without you, you basically have a job. It's dependent on you. So network marketing, leveraged income, residual income. So imagine if there were 10 Carolyn's putting in one hour a week, that would be 10 hours of production that I would be paid on, right? So it's the number of people working together that produce the amount of volume that you get paid on. But if you don't teach people what to do, guess what? You make zero, right? So this isn't a get rich quick scheme, this is work. So you put in the hours, your paycheck will tell you the amount of hours that you put in, right? So people come in here, they put in a couple of hours, they, um, they're not consistent, that's the other key thing, you gotta be consistent, it's don't, you, know, you don't decide to, well you, it's like, okay, I'm gonna work today, but I'm gonna take the rest of the week off. No, it is like a job, you guys, it's a different kind of job. So there's some consistency that when you apply that consistency, like anything else, like if I went to the gym and I worked out 
once a week and uh, and I expect to get these you know these biceps it ain't gonna come right it's through consistently going to the gym and working out and building on that that these little puppies that used to wave in the wind now are standing up so your network marketing business is no different so people who tell you I can make beach money and I'm on the beach okay come on people it's work right I am in my office we could show you around here it's a simple office and I put in a certain number of hours, but the bottom line is I have the flexibility of when I want to work, right? I like to golf on Tuesday mornings and Thursday mornings, and uh, I like Friday afternoons off. So I got to apply work, my work hours, my work ethic to the rest of that time frame because yes, my business can now run without me, but in the beginning when I was building it, it required me to build the foundation and the structure and teach other people to do what Carolyn was doing, right? Okay, so let's talk about promotion because people will be like, ah, I don't know, you have to go to your friends and fair. No, you know, now with the social media platforms available out there, in fact, today, the people who are starting in my company who uh, have a presence on social media, they're doing way better than when I started 14 and a half years ago where it was word of mouth and literally, you guys, picking up the phone and calling people, okay? So now, social media has changed everything with, with Twitter and Pinterest and, uh, you know, things that I still have to master, of course, Facebook and Instagram. People are showcasing who they are, what they have to offer, and how what they have to offer can change your life. So, you know, the old world way of doing things, the old model of doing things is changed the game of network marketing, made it much more friendlier, right? And now, you know, people used to drag you to those home presentations and I went to one every week, you guys. Now we have virtual presentations on Zoom where from the comfort of your home, you can analyze something, right? But I still love those face-to-face -face events where I get to see people and hug people and pat people on the back for, you know, for their accomplishments. So also today, oh my goodness, you have a global reach. I live in a town of 16,000 people, right? And now, through these social media platforms, my business is global. I have people all over the world that I actually converse with. And as soon as I get off this, uh, of this live, you know, my Facebook live, I'm going to be talking with some folks in Europe because I'm going to England to do some work, right? Going to play, going to do some work. So when people say to me, well, Carolyn, what exactly do you do? And for anybody in network marketing, and this is where people stumble and fall, they start to verbal vomit about their product, which scares a lot of people away. So I want to educate people about a concept. So this is what I tell them I do. I educate, you decide, and I will support you in that decision. And that decision, you guys, can be a no. It can be a no because the timing is not right. It could be a no because maybe I don't know enough about your product to say yes. It could be a no because I'm too busy right now. It could be a no because I just don't know, right? And so it's okay for people to say no. So if you're a network marketer, be respectful of where people are, right? Oftentimes people don't understand what it is you do, right? So I'm not actually, and I tell people this, I'm not selling anything. I am educating people about a concept, a new concept about how you can, look, my product is in the health business, how you can get healthier, right? How I, how did I get healthier at the age of 60, I forget how old I am, 63. How is it that I'm healthier at the age of, yeah, I gotta use my, uh, that, that brain boost. How is it that I'm healthier at the age of 63 than when I started at 49, right? So I get to show people the way that they can have a different outcome, whether it's with their health or whether it's with their bank account. Because guess what, you guys? People are buying a partnership with you. People like to 
to, to do business with people they know, like, and trust, which is a wonderful thing about the network marketing, prof the profession of network marketing. I don't call it the industry because that's like labor. That's old world. We are a group of professionals, right? So you get to decide who you want to partner with. And there are some people I meet, guys, that it's like the fit is not there, right? They don't have the same values uh, uh, that that I have they don't operate the same way that I do so you get to choose who you want to work with and the kind of team you want to work with all right so let's talk really quickly because I'm coming to 20 minutes now <laughs> I like to keep this to about 15 but I'm so excited about this you guys because I think pe not enough people talk about the profession of network marketing we love speaking about our products but we don't talk about the model right so who's recommending network marketing marketing and this is where I had to invest in here learning about the profession Robert Kiyosaki the business of the 21st century where he explains about the network marketing profession right if you want to create security you got to create it you got to start this is your own online business right so uh, I read this book also when I started I you can see I got my notes still in it uh, the next trillion Paul Zane Pilzer who's writing about the wellness industry and how in this profession, in the wellness profession, the next millionaires are going to be created, right? Billionaire. How many people know Warren Buffett, right? Billionaire Warren Buffett. He owns a number of network marketing companies. So some very successful entrepreneurs have invested in the network marketing profession, right? And so that average people, this is what I love, average people like those of you watching, you, yeah, you, <laughs> you and I who have extraordinary drive, extraordinary vision of a kind, but the kind of life you want to lead, we can create that six and seven figure income if you wish, right? Do you have a desire for a different outcome in your life other than what you are getting? The answer doesn't lie in getting another job, my friends. I am a retired flight attendant and I'm going to say retired by choice. Where else can a former flight attendant generate a six, a multiple six figure income? I did that while working full time and building my network marketing business part time till it got to the point where it was it was sustaining itself to the point where I could say bye-bye and hang up my wings. So the world is changing. It's shrinking. The old rules don't apply. Take the time to understand this profession of network marketing. Get over your skepticism. Stop asking broke people who failed at this whether or not it's a viable way to do business. Start asking the people who've had success, how did you do it? That's what I did. I did my own investigation. I let go of the paradigms that people had about this profession and did some digging and did some reading. And I had an open mind about a possibility that I could create for myself. I, Carolyn Rodriguez, who had no business skills, no sales skills, didn't have a large sphere of... <laughs> I just got some new teeth and put them in. Didn't have a large sphere of influence. Didn't know a lot of people. But with with a steely determination and grit and the willingness to put in the hours... I, I now get to live a life that most people would be envious of. So all I can say is congratulations to those of you who have discovered this profession and understand that there is another way because you deserve to live a rich, fulfilling, rewarding life. So guys, thank you for joining me today. I see so many wonderful people on today. And if you have joined me uh, a little bit late or listening to this in replay time, please do hashtag replay. And, and I would love your feedback. What did you get out of this? Um, I love seeing your comments. And if you're in some groups and you feel that this will benefit some of the groups that you're in, feel free to share it there, guys. You can find me, Carolyn Rodriguez, on Facebook, on Twitter, on um, 
Um, uh, God, I, on Instagram, just go look for me. And I have a new website, carolynsessentialoils.com, or just, you know, send me a private message and let me know what you're thinking. I'd love to connect with you. Have an awesome week, you guys. Happy Magical Monday. Bye-bye.